Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Free Iwatobi Swim Club. Let's see, episode eight, sorry, episode eight, entitled "Revenge in the Middle." It's been a while since I've actually gotten to. Uh, yeah, but luckily it's a lot easier with this because there's pictures here from Wikipedia. So yeah. Anyways, Revenge of the Medley. As Haruka is left stunned by Rin's dec dec declaration of victory, the other members c compete in their respective events. Despite the cheers of the supporters, which Haruka comes to see, none of them make it through the next round. As the day comes t to an end, Go reveals she had secretly entered everyone into the relay race event taking place the next day, Give, given, the, give given them one more chance to qualify for the regionals. A after the others spin the right trying spend the night trying to convince him to join. Haruka soon comes to understand everyone's feelings and agrees to participate. The next day news of Toby's participation in the Rin who bears witness to the team in action. Alright. And that sums up what happened in this episode. So let's get into the review then. Alright, so not a whole lot that I had wrong with this episode, although I do have some complaints, but for the most part, I was pretty content with this episode. The animation is perfect as always, it really is. Alright, the rotoscope swimming scenes look so amazing. Alright, and the music's really good as always as well. Um, like, the only parts of the series I think the music's generally amazing, for the most part, would be the opening and ending. Especially the opening, but... Like, there was that one scene, uh, what was it? That, um, scene with... I think it was the one where Rin was remembering their past as a uh, as friends swimming as kid in a middle school. Uh, that was actually a really good track right there. All right, I have to admit, I have to call that one out. I really like that mus musical track right there. Um, Um, other, other than that, though, it's like, Rin is still pissing me off, I still have to bring that up, um, because I don't think it's 100% clear why he's acting like this yet. Like, we've got a li little bit of backstory at, like, okay, he lost to Haruka when he was a kid, and ever since, or when they were in middle school, and ever since then he's had a grudge against Haruka, and of course, since everyone else is hanging out with Haruka, he kind of pushes it on them as well. Okay, that's all fine and dandy, but there's also that thing where he, he said that Rin didn't, didn't care about winning before that. So seriously, what was the turning point making Rin care about, actually about winning and get so pissed when he lost to Haruka? It's like they and they. It's not just this. It's not just this episode that they've been foreshadowing this. They've been foreshadowing this the entire fucking series for the most part. So it begs an explanation by now, all right. And I mean, Rin's not a complete douche like that. Uh, oh, what's his name? That one kid that he's hanging out with in his new swim club, or not really hanging out with, but talks to pre periodically in his new swim club. I forget his name, but he seems to be pretty nice to uh, him as if they were, you know, friends, or at least acquaintances. He's not a complete total douchebag to everyone, that's my point. So it's clearly a thing with Haruka and anyone who hangs out with Haruka. Not to mention, you know, he doesn't like the fact that Ray, uh, be basically a beginner swimmer, is swimming with them. And the way he says with them implies that he still wants to swim with them, but he can't get over his fucking grudge. Like, seriously, dude, get the fuck over it. It's been how many fucking years? You went to fucking Australia to learn how to swim. You're basically 
a few steps away from a master swimmer at this point. I mean, on your way to getting, you're on your way to uh, qualifying for the Olympics. That's all fine and dandy, but get the fuck over yourself. That's what I have to say. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.